Next time you make a cake, don't throw away those scraps. You can take that leftover cake and frosting and turn it into something fun and delicious. Cake pops. Break the cake pieces with your hands and turn the cake into fine crumbs. Place four cups of crumbs in a bowl and add a quarter cup of frosting. Mix with a spoon until the frosting is combined and the mixture comes together to form a moist dough. Roll the mixture into one and a half inch balls and place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Put them in the freezer until they are firm but not frozen. About 30 minutes. Then line a second baking sheet with parchment paper and fill a small bowl with sprinkles. Place candy melts in another bowl and microwave on high. Stir it every 30 seconds until it's completely melted, thin, and smooth. You want the candy melts to easily coat the cake balls. Working two at a time, take the cake balls out of the freezer and dip half an inch of the lollipop stick into the melted candy. Then push it about an inch into the cake ball. Now dip into the melted candy and turn to coat completely. Gently tap and twirl the stick several times on the edge of the bowl to form a thin, even coating, letting any excess drip off. Immediately dip the cake pop into the sprinkles and turn to coat. Hold the cake pop upright until the coating starts to set, about 30 seconds. Finally, place it on the second baking sheet and let it set for at least 15 minutes. Cake pops are great because they're so customizable. You can use any kind of cake, frosting, or sprinkles that you like, and they're always a hit at birthday parties, showers, and weddings.